Welcome on a video of how to factor the smallest exponent out, which is especially useful in calculus after taking derivatives. So looking at this expression, you should uh, first of all simplify some things. So you'd have negative 32x and then the binomial bracket 3x plus 1 or 3x cubed plus 1 and negative 4x squared minus 3x with the power of 3. Plus, I like to put the monomial in front of the um, binomials. So we have this expression that we need to uh, pull out the greatest common factor. Notice how both of them have x's and both of them have the same bracket. What you're going to do is pull out the smaller exponent out. So smaller exponent between x's is just x. And smaller exponent between the bracket is the power of 3. So what we're going to do is divide both terms by this greatest common factor. So you're going to record uh, the greatest common factor underneath both terms. This is just rough work in order to show the cancellations and truly understand where the result will be coming from. What you divide by, you should also multiply in front because now you have changed the expression. It's no longer equivalent to what is above. So we multiply by what we divided by in front. And now the result will be uh, GCF written in front bracket. And what we're going to do is simplify the result above. X's uh, cancel off. And the bracket uh, with, the, with the power of 3 are identical, so we can cancel those off as well. So we only have negative 32 with 3x uh, cubed plus 1 there. Plus, on the other uh, term, we have x squared divided by x. x squared is truly just xx all over x, so we can see how one of them can cancel, or we can apply the um, subtracting the powers rule, so it would be 2 minus 1, which is just x to the power of 1. Subtraction rule is applied when we divide power 4 expression and power 3 expression, so the exponent would be only 1. So the result would be 9 and um, x and uh, negative 4 x squared minus 3 with a power of 1, which I'm not going to write. And the last thing that's left to do is to uh, simplify this expression. The very last bracket has to um, be expanded out, so the inner brackets would give us negative 96 x3 minus 32 minus 36 x power 3 uh, minus 27 x. And there are some like terms to combine as well. So the cube terms uh, create negative 132 x to the 3 and then the rest of the terms follow. I put them in descending order. Now let's see another example, a little bit more complicated, but the same idea will be applied. So we want to simplify, first of all, the terms before we begin. As I'm simplifying, you should notice that both of the numerator terms have a common factor of 3 um, and also have a common factor of x. And each of them also have a common bracket, x power 3 plus 4 with different exponents, but we will look for the greatest common factor. So here is my simplified uh, expression. Okay, so GCF is going to be 3 with x squared because it's the lowest power, and uh, x power 3 plus 4 with a power of 4 because, again, it's a smaller power out of the ones that we're seeing in the numerator. So as before, we're going to be dividing by the greatest common factor, um, both terms. So I know um, it looks messy, but this is just rough work. You don't actually have to record this. Um, it just helps me to see how cancellations happen. And whatever you divided by, you should always put it in front as multiplication, so you have not changed the expression. Okay, so writing down the greatest common factor in front to begin with. And now let's see how things cancel off. We still have the all over, which I will not touch, because um, we probably will not simplify with anything that we have above. All right, so x is canceled. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. 
Uh, the brackets with power 4 completely disappear because it's the cancel off, so we just have 5 and 3x power 4 minus 2. On the other side, we have um, x squared into x3 goes x times, 3 into 12 goes 4, and then that bracket uh, cancels off and we have an exponent of 1 because we subtract the exponents as we've seen already above. And now it's a matter of simplifying the big square brackets in the numerator. So expanding out the uh, inner uh, parentheses, we have the following expression all over the same denominator. And then we have some like terms again to combine, and we're almost done. Okay, so this is example number two, and we'll do one more example where um, the powers are fractions. So here it is, we have a power of negative fraction and positive fraction. We also have some like terms that we should uh, simplify before, so we have negative 5x power 4 as a monomial in front of all these brackets, just to simplify before we begin anything else. As this is being simplified, once again, you should notice that both terms uh, have common factors. There is uh, a 5 that divides into both, and there's also an x squared that would, uh, is common to both. Then we also have um, the bracket that has 5x cubed minus 3 appears twice, different exponents and then the other bracket as well. So we're going to divide by the greatest common factor, and whatever we divide by, we also multiply in the front. Okay, so x and x squared, and 5 and 75, so we have 5x squared as um, the divisor for both. And then these two brackets, we want to take the smaller exponent, um, exponent of 4, to divide out. And then uh, the other two brackets that are similar, again, smaller exponent is the negative one. The most negative one is considered um, the lower exponent. So this is the greatest common factor. You just repeat it um, on the other side. I'm not going to fully write it out. And also, it should be written out, out in front so um, that you're not changing the full expression. So it's all the same or equivalent to the line above. Okay, so writing down the greatest common factor in front, and then we're going to be getting ready to simplify the outer bracket. So now let's see how we can cancel things. Remember, when you're canceling, you're thinking subtracting the exponents. So 5 into 5 goes in once. x squared into x power 4 is x squared. Then this bracket with power 4 into the one above leaves 1 in the exponent when you subtract. 5 minus 4 gives you 1. And then uh, the last bracket is identical, so it cancels off completely. So we should record our answer. We have negative x squared in a single bracket, 5x cubed minus 3 left. Plus, um, canceling off 5 into 75 goes 15 times. x squared and x squared completely. Then we have powers of 4 that cancel completely as well. And our last one, we want to think of subtracting those exponents. So 1 quarter minus a negative 3 quarters is 4 over 4, which is just power of 1. This will usually happen, actually, with uh, taking the derivatives. So we have 15 uh, left over with um, a single bracket with the power of 1, which I will not record again. Power of 1 is assumed to be there. And so um, we just need to simplify um, our result. So multiplying the inner parentheses out, we get some like terms that we'll combine on the next line. Notice that there is one bracket with a negative exponent that we can pull down. Uh, negative powers are just uh, reciprocals. Just make sure you pull, out, pull down only the negative power. Uh, so we'll have negative 4x power 5 minus 3 with a positive exponent 3 quarters in the denominator. 
and then just simplifying like terms uh, we'll have negative 65 x power 5 in the rest of the terms. Okay, I hope this was helpful.